Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and today I have for you guys a new special Bloons Tower Defense update video. This one's on the new specialty buildings. Now, before I begin, I want to say one thing. If you're expecting a lot of Bloons Tower Defense gameplay in this, you're not going to see it in this particular video. This one's really just going to be me explaining the new update, how it can affect your game, and how you can properly use it for future, like, uh, reasons. So, basically, I know I usually do gameplay when I do Bloons Tower Defense, but bear with me because this update is so expensive in terms of monkey money, it was impossible for me to string together good gameplay for you. In fact, all I could afford is this, and I'll explain why it costs so much in the future. But I figured informative video is better than nothing. So, without further ado, as soon as you go to the main screen, you'll notice a new plot of land. When you click on that, what ends up happening is it prompts you to buy a piece of land for $250. That's your outright cost. Once you pay the $250, you're allowed to get any of these types of different tower upgrades. The types of towers that can be upgraded or dart, tack, boomerang, bombing, and mage fire. Now, these aren't going to be separate towers that are on your screen or anything like that. They're going to look exactly like the old towers do, everything like that, and it just takes effect without you even really noticing or paying much attention. So, for instance, I have the first upgrade for the dart uh, tower. Now, I'll explain what that means in the future, but it says reduce the cost of dart monkeys and their upgrades by 5%. So, let me just go into main gameplay right now. And uh, we go along here. Hold on, we go to easy mode. It costs us, when that is activated, $160, as you can tell. So now let's go back and uh, go right back here. Let's deactivate it now. Remember, it was $160. So we're going to go back to the main gameplay right over to here. And then, here we go. Bam, Dart Monkey is $170. So it's a little bit different, and uh, it's definitely something to uh, keep in mind, is that it will impact your game very minimally for the first beginning, but the main upgrade that matters the most is the third upgrade. That's where you really start getting an impact. So let me go over exactly what all these things are. When you pay $500 for the Dart Training or the Tack Research, you get level 1, then you can pay another $500 for level 2, another $500 for level 3, and then you're pretty much done. Same thing goes for the other towers, only they're $700. 50. So just a little more expensive, but the exact same uh, strategy and planning applies. Now, the thing with the towers is the first upgrade and second upgrade for all of them are reduction of costs and upgrades by 5% and increased attack speed by 10%. That doesn't change no matter what the tower you're upgrading is. However, the third one is kind of like your ultimate ability if you're into those kind of games like Dota or uh, something along those lines. is basically the special upgrade that makes that tower that tower. And for the Dart Monkey, that happens to be getting a one free Dart Monkey at the start and another one every 10 rounds. Now, of course, the Dart Monkey really isn't that good in later rounds, so it's kind of useless at round, say, 50 if it gives you a free Dart Monkey. So the main point of upgrading this is if you want an easy way to blast through the first, like, 10, 20 waves, and then just keep going on with the game and have a bunch of money stored up. Besides that, it really doesn't serve anything or any purpose. Now, the TAC Research Center is also complete and total ass. I'm, I'm just going to be all right with you. It's ass. The TAC Research Center, all it does is every second shot has extra pierce damage. So what does that mean? Well, it's exactly what it says, basically. After it fires one normal bullet, it'll fire a second one that will pop, I guess, an extra layer or two. That really doesn't seem worth it to me, and I'm sure it probably isn't worth it to you guys, especially at the cost, which the cost will be $1,500 if you want to get that. So, at the end of the day, not worth it at all. Don't even worry about that. The Boomerang Dojo is pretty useful, though. It says boomerangs fly once more around the circuit if they haven't hit their pierce cap, which basically means, say your boomerang can pop five balloons before disappearing, and it only pops four, normally it would disappear. But instead, in this one, if it didn't pop that last one, it'll keep rotating around in a circuit until it does make contact. The good part about this is there's basically no reload time or time that it takes to rethrow another uh, another boomerang, and that's really the main purpose of it. It gets rid of that kind of reload time and allows you to get the exact bang you paid for with your buck. I know the saying is, you know, more bang for your buck, but in this case, it's just kind of like what you deserve, I guess. So next up, we have the bombing range. This one is where you really start to see the best increase. This and the mage fire are incredible. So the bombing range allows you to pop black and zebra balloons. The reason this is good is say you build a bomb tower around, I don't know, 10, maybe 5 to 10, you kind of is good until you start hitting black balloons. So then you start hitting trouble and you can't go on further. However, if you build one tower then and have the uh, bomb tower ability that can pop black and zebra balloons, you can kind of keep going forward with the game and keep going on and maybe only have a single tower until say round 30. It really does make a difference. And finally, the mage fire is the best one of all. It adds an additional new magic bolt that seeks out its target, basically meaning it's kind of like the third upgrade to the left on monkey apprentices where it shoots out a lightning bolt except there's one little thing except for the fact that it seems like it only uh, seeks out a single target as you can tell so imagine getting an extra lightning bolt that only hits one target that's exactly what it does 
So anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope this was informative for you guys and you learned something new, and maybe it even sparks an interest in the game. So anyway, have a good night, everyone, and be sure to subscribe if you like my content. Good night.